All right, welcome to uh, Module 5, uh, Lesson 1, Part 3. Um, so, so far we've covered the first four steps. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is we've been doing all these first four steps, creating VLAN pools, configuring domains, so on and so forth, but nothing has actually got applied uh, to the switches in the ACI fabric yet. Uh, configurations are not going to get applied until we do some of the last steps. So in the world of ACI, uh, when you're configuring things, you'll see references to policy. Like in step four, we created the interface policy groups. So you, what I like to do is when I see the word policy in ACI, I like to think of, you know, rules or configuration. So for example, there was like the you know, individual CDP policy that defined how CDP was configured. Uh, and then there is a word profile that you'll see. And when you see the word profile, which we'll see in steps five and step six, uh, I like to think of applying the rules or config. Uh, now to be actually a little bit more specific, what we'll say is potentially applying the rules or configuration. And you'll see what I mean by that shortly. Uh, so, you know, in, for example, again, step four was policy, uh, but step five and six are going to contain the word profile. Uh, so let's go to step five. Uh, again, let's go back to our crazy mnemonic phrase. So venomous, dangerous anacondas inhale blank swiftly. Uh, and the fifth word is iguanas. And that takes us to step five. We're going to create something called an interface profile, uh, we want to pick an interface or interfaces to apply the configuration to. So let's go ahead and do step five. Uh, notice here, I'm. what you do is you actually create an interface profile, but from within that you launch something called the interface selector and select interfaces from there. Um, so I'm inside the interface selector and notice I'm you know, just selecting interface one, one. And then again, you map it back to the previous step. So I'm mapping, mapping it back to the interface policy group. So that takes us to step six, venomous, dangerous anacondas, inhale iguanas blank. And the last word is swiftly, which starts with an S. And that takes us to the last step, which is switch profile. Uh, so in step five, we selected an interface, but step six, we're going to select a switch to apply the config to. So notice here, I'm creating my switch profile. And then what I'm doing here is I'm selecting switch 101. And then again, we're always going to map this step back to the previous step, back to the interface selector profile. All right, so we did the six steps. Let's kind of recap on actually what we've done here. So again, we created VLAN 600 through 700, static range. Uh, we're gonna use those VLANs for bare metal servers, so we created a physical domain. Uh, we created an AEP in step three. Step four, we configured our interfaces. So we did that via an access port policy group and essentially what we did is enabled CDP and LLDP under the interface. We're going to apply that config to interface 1.1. And then we are going to apply, more specifically, apply the configuration to LEAF 101 interface 1.1. So these are the six steps. Now let's look at an actual vis visual representation of the configs we actually did. So, so far, LLDP and CDP are enabled on the interface, 1.1, one, one, uh, on LEAF 101. Now, VLAN 600 through 700, the config, these VLANs have not necessarily been trunked over the interface. So you remember before I said when you're going through and you're doing those last two, two steps, which is an interface profile and a switch profile, I said when you see the word profile, think of applying config. But I also added the word, I would say potentially applying configuration because there's some additional steps that have to be done as well. 
um, to get these VLANs up and running over the interface. And so we'll talk about those additional steps in a later lecture. Uh, and because those VLANs are only provisioned over this interface 1.1, if you tried to set up a bare metal server and didn't do any additional config within your tenant, we'll talk again more about tenants later on, yeah, this server right here is not going to be able to communicate uh, within the network, you know, within these VLAN ranges. So we do have some additional work to do. So you might be thinking, man, Robert, we did all those steps, all those six steps, and yeah, the VLANs are not even trunked over the interface, and so we still can't ping, we still can't communicate from this server. Man, that seems like a lot of work to get very little done. But again, I think it's important to always keep the big picture in mind. So think of these steps that we went through as assembling ACI. Uh, you're not going to have to go through these steps every time you want to configure interfaces or deploy new servers. Keep in mind, we got a, a range of VLANs that can be leveraged. Uh, all the policies and profiles that we created can be reused. And again, one of the cool things is, is we can easily update our environment, configure in mass. So notice here, if later on I go back to my chain of access policies, I've created here, I can go into the interface selector and simply add an interface. In this example, I'm adding just interface one, two, but I can add a lot of interfaces. And then I can very easily go into my switch profile and add additional leaf switches. So with just a few clicks, this is what our topology originally looked like before I made some of those new changes in the last couple of slides. I just provisioned one interface on one leaf, but with just a couple clicks here, I added an interface to the interface profile and I added additional leaf switches. Okay, you go from this right here to this with just in a, you know, within a few seconds. Um, so again, keep the big picture in mind. One of the benefits of using access policies is they easily can be reused configured mass, but also your configuration is going to be consistent across all these interfaces right here. Um, so just kind of a side note. So we'll change gears a little bit here. So far we've been, you know, mainly focusing on configuring access policies step by step by step by step. Uh, a few things to look out for. So when you're working with access policies, you might get an error message pop up uh, when you're configuring one of the steps. Uh, I'm going to focus in here on the last two steps, so step five and step six. And if you recall that step five is the interface profile, step six is the switch profile. And notice I'm adding interface 1.4 on leaf 101 to this chain of access policies. Now what happens is an interface on a specific switch can only be assigned to an interface and switch profile once. So if I have interface 1.4 on leaf 101, it cannot be assigned to a different set of profiles. So for example, later on, if I create switch profile two and interface profile two, I could not add this same interface on this leaf switch to these profiles. What I would get in ACI is this error message right here. And it says error 400, multiple port blocks created for same port node on leaf 101. So what if you're configuring, what if you're going to go in and you're going to be creating a new chain of access policies? What if you want to say, hey, I, I want to figure out what has already been assigned out to an interface profile and switch profile. So I don't get that error message. So the easiest way to you know figure out you know if a interface on a certain leaf switch has already been assigned out to an interface and switch profile is there's something called the uh, quick start wizard and you guys uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this later um, but you can launch the quick start wizard within from the APIC and then just select an interface you want you want to configure 
So what if you're saying, hey, I want to make some configuration changes to interface 1.9, but I'm not really sure which uh, switch profile and interface profile that is connected to. So the easiest way to figure that out is launch the quick start wizard. Notice I'm selecting interface 1.9, and then what I can see is, okay, this is the switch profile uh, that that interface and leaf switch is assigned to, and then this is the interface profile. All right, that's all we have for this part of the lesson.